Dutch Cargill with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cheddar Cheaters. Dutch and company began their flight over the Atlantic at dawn and are at this moment just off the Holland coast. But Clutch, you didn't tell me what all the rush was about. I meant to, Spinner, but I guess I just forgot. I received a cablegram from Chris Kreider, the most famous cheesemaker in all the world. Chris has been a good friend of mine for many years. Is he in terrible trouble? Just because he sent for me, I'd say his trouble's bad enough. We've just got to help him. Right, Clutch. Meanwhile, near the quaint little Dutch village of Cheeseboro, the village famous for Chris Kreider's cheddar cheese, Chris and his little daughter Gretchen await Clutch's arrival. Four of my prize cows missing out of the clear blue sky and no trace of them anywhere. I don't see our man as busy as Clutch Cargo can take time out to help us. Clutch will be here, wait and see. Well, I read his adventure logbook. If anyone can help us, he can. Oh, oh, don't look now, but here comes that no good tulip peddler, stinky brinky, on his pal Gus Gooseneck on the way to market. Yo-ho, hello, Chris. I ask you again, don't be so friendly with that loafer. All right, Papa. I don't know why, but I just don't like him. Sorry, Clutch. Do you think we'll wear wooden shoes like the Dutch people? Well, that depends. If we have to disguise ourselves, we'll have to wear them. Paddlefoot, too? <laughs> yes. Maybe even Paddlefoot. Look, Clutch. It's a welcome sign. Cut right out of the tulips. By golly, that's Chris's place. He said he'd fix the landing signal. Hold on. We're going down. There's little Gretchen. She sure has grown. Welcome, Clutch. Didn't I tell you, Gretchen, I knew he'd come. You were right, Papa. Welcome to Holland, Mr. Cargo. Thanks. Glad to be here. Uh, these are my pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. How do you do? Come to the house, Clutch. I will tell you why I sent for you. Maybe Spinner and Paddlefoot would like to look around. Gretchen will take them. I would like to. That's mighty nice of you, Gretchen. Not at all, Mr. Cargo. It is my pleasure. Shall we start with the windmill? Oh, boy, keen. Don't be gone long, Spinner. We've got work to do. And so, that's the story, Clutch. Out of my herd of 24 prize cows, four of them have disappeared in four days without a trace. Yes, Chris, this is serious. I can see why you're alarmed. You know I have always made the finest cheddar cheese, but if I don't stop losing cows, I can't continue to make cheese. What can we do? I don't know at this point, but we'll find those cows or my name isn't Clutch Cargo. Again, Clutch, my thanks to you. Why... Wait a minute, Chris. Something's wrong with Paddlefoot. What is it, boy? He wants us to go with him. Come on, Chris. Lead the way, Paddlefoot. Oh, whatever is it, I hope we're not too late. There's Spinner and Gretchen up ahead. Hurry, Clutch, hurry! What is this, Spinner? Another one of Papa's prize cows has disappeared. Oh, no! Oh, no is right. Can Clutch and company find out who is stealing Chris Kreider's cows? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with Paul Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cheddar Cheaters. You remember last time Clutch and company arrived in Holland to help Chris Kreider find out who has been stealing his prize cheese cows. While Chris tells Clutch the story, Spinner, Paddlefoot, and Gretchen suddenly call. All I know is they was all here just before you came, Mr. Cargo. I counted them. You mean this fifth cow disappeared in broad daylight? That's the way it's been going. If this keeps up, I'm ruined. My cows make the finest cheese in the whole world. They eat nothing but the finest of tulips. Lena here eats only blue tulips. 
So from her we get blue cheese. Oh. And if I lose her, I've lost everything. <laughs> when she gets hungry, she'll follow anybody who has a blue tulip. Could anyone back a truck onto your property and drive off? Ah, no, that's impossible. Nothing but boats can reach my farm. Hmm, sounds like barge bandits to me. Barge bandits? Why, it couldn't be barge bandits. No one has been by today but Mr. Gooseneck and Mr. Stinky. Gooseneck? Stinky? Who are they? Why, they're those tulip bulb barge boys. They pass here every day on their way to market. Yeah. They passed in their strange windmill barge only a little while ago. Well, I'd like to question those two. They might know something. Take my sailboat, Clutch. You could overtake that tulip tub of theirs in no time. Chris, you and Gretchen keep a close watch on the cows. We'll be back. You bet we will, Clutch, and good luck. You can't miss those two. They have windmill propulsion on their barge. My fight spin on, Patterfoot. Be careful. Bye, Gretchen. Don't worry. See you later. Just think, Spinner. This whole part of the country is below sea level and was once underwater. And that's why they build big wall dikes all around, huh, Clutch? That's right, Spinner. They build dikes and pump the sea out. And they use the fertile land to raise cheese cows and tulips. And the canals they left are sure fun to travel on, eh, Paddlefoot? <laughs> Hey, Clutch, look! It's the windmill barge! Must be Gooseneck and Stinky, all right. Give them a hail, Spinner. Ahoy, the barge! Heave to! We'd like a word with you. Uh-oh, it's Chris Crater's trapped. He's sending some stranger after us. That chowderhead Crater must suspect us. Throw it into high gear and let's get out of here. Yo, yeah, we don't dare have someone snooping aboard. Up. We're under full sail now, Spinner. Try to keep them in sight. Hey, wait for us. We want to talk to you. Hey, Stinky, whatever are we going to do? They are staying right on our tail. Don't worry. All we got to do is beat them to that floor bridge. <laughs> I got a sneaky plan that should cook their goose. Oops, pardon me, goose neck. Clutch, you're stopping. They must have heard me. One fella hop down on shore. We'll just pull up alongside him and see what the story is. Clutch! Will that heavy bridge crush Clutch and company? How will they escape? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cheddar Cheaters. You remember last time, Chris Kreider's fifth prize cheese cow disappeared. Clutch and company used Chris Kreider's sailboat to follow two shady characters, Stinky Brinky, a no-good tulip peddler, and his no-good pal, Gus Gooseneck. As they passed under a bridge... Clutch! The bridge! <laughs> We sure slashed him. Hey, Stinky, throw it in gear, Gooseneck, and let's get out of here. Clutch, where are you? Over here, Spinner. Is everyone okay? We're okay, but if that bridge had been two inches lower, we'd have been smashed flatter than pancakes. That was no accident, Spinner. It was Gooseneck and Stinky. They got away! Ah, oh, gee! We'll repair our craft and go back after our plane. My clutch and spinner, back already? What happened? Did you see anything of my missing cows? Are you all right? We had a narrow escape. Those two barge bandits dropped a drawbridge on us. Then they ran away in their windmill tulip barge. 
I knew it, I knew it. They're the ones that's been stealing my cheese cows. I never did trust that gooseneck and stinky. We'll need the plane to catch them, Chris. They've got much too fast a machine. Good luck, Clutch. I hope you'll catch them this time for sure. Look sharp, Spinner. That barge couldn't have gotten away. Farther on up the canal, Stinky and Gooseneck have reached their destination and are putting the barge in hiding. Is the coast clear, Gooseneck? Not a soul in sight. That makes five of old man Cragger's critters we got. Just a couple more and he's out of business. Boy, I can hardly wait. It won't be long before we'll be making the world's best cheese, Stinky. Hot dog, you bet. All we'll need is Chris's brew cheese cow. Okay, up here. We made a clean getaway. We'll wait here till the heat's off, and then go back and grab her. Yeah, sure, Stinky. Clutch flies the plane. First one way, searching, searching. Then the other, searching, searching. I hear an airplane. Sounds pretty low, too. By golly, it's the plane we saw parked beside Chris Kreider's. I think they're wise to us. Time for quick thinking. Grab that board and hand me that big cheese ball. Now, climb up the windmill and get ready to jump. Haven't seen a thing yet, Clutch. Maybe if you flew lower over these canals. All set. Ready. Aim. Shoot. Look at him! I can't see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't see, Spinner. I can't see. Bombed by a big cheese ball. Will they crash? What will happen? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cheddar Cheaters. You remember last time, after Chris Kreider's fifth cow disappeared, Clutch and company used a sailboat to follow Stinky and Gooseneck. After narrowly escaping death by a falling bridge, they continued to follow. As they neared the bank of the canal, they were bombed with a big cheese ball. We've been hit! I can't see, Spinner! I can't see! Take over the controls, Spinner. I'll take the lookout position. That was a close one. My gosh, Clutch. Well, what happened? We're covered with cheese, Spinner. <laughs> it must have been ghost neck and stinky. There they go in their tulip barge. Quick, let's clean this mess up. We don't want them to get away. <laughs> that was a deep bit of strategy. Yeah, we got out of there just in time. But I'll bet they'll be on our tail again right away. Yeah, sure. Let's not dilly-dally. We'll hide under those weeds along the bank and let them pass. Hurry, Gooseneck. We've got to gather weeds and cover the boat. She runs good as new. Keep your eyes open for that tulip boat. They couldn't be far away. I don't see them anywhere. There's only a windmill up ahead. There they go. <laughs> They'll never see us here. Meanwhile, back at the tulip boat, Stinky and Gus make more plans. It's been over an hour since Cargo flew past. Maybe he's given up. That leaves the coast clear for us to get Lena, Chris Kreider's prized blue cheese cow. When we get her, our troubles are over. Come on, I can hardly wait. <sighs> Nobody's gonna get my Lena, the only blue cheese cow in the world. Don't worry, Lena. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. 
Pinky and Gus pull up dangerously close to where Lena is dining. Look, there's Kreider's prize cow. Bring some blue tulips. I've got the drill. We'll tippy-toe through the tulips. I'll drill a hole in the bike, but hold all of my suspenders when you lower me down. Okay, here goes. Lower away. That's it, Gooseneck. She's breaking through. Rat! Rata! The dike sprung a leak! The dike is broken! The dike is broken! We'll all be flooded! Thanks, Mr. Kreider. Now that your finger is caught, we'll just relieve you of your prize cow, Lena. Oh, no! A trick! You played on me a dirty trick! Here, buddy! Come on, buddy! I know. Come on, Lena. No, please, not Lena. Don't go, Lena. Come back. Help! Help, Clutch! Help, my best cow! Oh, dear me, what'll I do? Finger in the dike, holding back the sea. My best blue cheese cow, Lena, is taken away. Clutch! Spinner! Handle for help! Poor Chris. Finger caught in a broken dike, and his best cow gone. Will he get her back? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Brett Cargo. in another exciting adventure, Cheddar Cheaters. You remember last time, Clutch and company were almost knocked out of the air by a cheese bomb. Stinky and Gooseneck were the ones who fired it. As Clutch hid the plane, Chris was left to guard his most prized cow, Lena, the blue cheese cow. Oh, Lena, come back! Help! Help, Clutch! Help my best cow! What is it, boy? Something over there? It's Mr. Kreider. And something's wrong. Help, Clutch! That no good tulip peddler stole my prize cow, Lena. But, Chris, you had a gun. Couldn't you stop them? Ah, no, look. The dike sprung a leak. I'm holding the water back. I couldn't let Lena drown. I see what you mean. Spinner, go to the plane and get that spare dike stopper. Right, Clutch. And hurry, Spinner. Just take it easy, Chris. We'll have that dike plugged in no time. There. That'll hold it till we can call a plumber. But first, we must catch those cownappers. Which way did they go, Chris? They went that way, dragging poor Lena on the end of a tulip. Come on, Spinner. Paddlefoot. Let's go after them. Woo -hoo. Oh, that's gonna smart in the morning. We'll make more passes over the canal. Keep a sharp lookout for their tulip boat. Clutch, wait a minute. Their boat had a windmill on it. Spinner, you're right. We've been looking for boats. We should have been looking for windmills. There's no time to lose. We'll fly over every windmill until we find the right one. Paddlefoot can help. Get your nose tuned up, boy. Know it too. What did I tell you? I knew that cargo would never give up. Don't worry, we'll bomb him with a cheese ball again. Good idea, Stinky. You clear the deck for action, or I take my position on the tower. Look, Clutch, there they are. And they're all set to bombard us with a cheese bomb again. Whoa, whoa. I know, Spinner. Time to roll out our own big cheese bomb. Right, Clutch. I believe in fighting cheese with cheese. Steady in there, Stinky. Soon as they get a little closer, I'll give you the signal to jump. Ready? And... Let her go, Spinner. Oh, look. That does it. We'll get out and take those two bark bandits in. 
Thank you so much, Clutch and Spinner, for catching the bandits and returning my precious cheese cows. You're welcome, Mr. Kreider. We found your cows hidden inside their tulip barge. And they had a regular cheese factory inside that windmill barge. And I won't forget you. I'm going to send you 500 pounds of my very best cheddar cheese. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Cheddar Cheaters. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.